Peace and blessings to the guys and goddesses. Wafiti God with another truth hour. With no further ado, huh, how hard is it to fight you back? You feel we can't beat them, but you, you gotta get this money. It's not intelligent not to fight back. Right, it's not. Gotta it's organize. Not. Gotta right. get together. Don't fight back off emotion. That's what I say. This is what I'm saying. If it's a cop who rides his motherfucking bold ass around the motherfucking neighborhood, and y'all all know it's a bigot motherfucker, all I'm saying is, how hard is it to be on the roof with them things when them motherfuckers get out the car? It's not intelligent not to fight back. It's not intelligent not to fight back. You gotta organize. You gotta get together. Don't fight back off emotion. That's what I said. This is what I'm saying. But if it's a cop who rides his motherfucking whole ass around the motherfucking world, y'all all know it's a bigot motherfucker. All I'm saying is, how hard is it to be on the roof with them things when them motherfuckers get out the car? It's not intelligent not to fight back. It's not intelligent not to fight back. Gotta organize. Gotta get together. Don't fight back off the emotion. I, I want to say this again. I really want people to hear me when I say this. Like I say, I don't have all of the facts, but I know what I need to know. People in charge of the taxes you pay stole this land from the people who were in their business. They're not even, look, they just have not been defeated. You feel we can't defeat them, but you are wrong. They have all kinds of weapons of mass destruction. But we are in charge of some of those weapons because we are linked in different places. I'm not talking about just black people. I'm talking about red, brown, yellow as well. Because they don't have the numbers to basically make it where, oh, we're going to make it an all-racist army against the rest of the world. They don't have the numbers to do that. They manipulated you with, first of all, religion. It's not intelligent not to fight back. Right, so you got to organize. you got to get together. Don't fight back off emotion. That's what I said. This is what I'm saying. If this is a cop who rides his motherfucker ass around the motherfucking neighborhood. Y'all all know it's a bigot motherfucker. All I'm saying is, how hard is it to be on the roof with them things when them motherfuckers get out the car? It's not intelligent not to fight back. It's not intelligent not to fight back. Gotta organize. Gotta get together. Don't fight back off the emotion. Look, 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 they show what happened in Dallas Intelligent not to fight back. It's not intelligent not to fight back. 
gotta organize. I'm on the side of these motherfuckers. Even though it ain't shit. Even though motherfuckers fucked up and I see my brothers do stupid shit. When somebody else fuck with us, all of a sudden motherfuckers snap out of that shit, don't they? That's why we need the motherfuckers to see even more of this shit to snap out of that dumb shit that zombie life we've been living in real life. Bigots are in control and they are fucking us up. It's time to turn the guns on. It's not intelligent not to fight that. Gotta organize. It's not intelligent not to fight that. It's not intelligent not to fight that. Gotta organize. Gotta get together. Don't fight back off emotion. That's what I say. This is what I'm saying. If it's a cop who rides his motherfucking whole ass around the motherfucking world, y'all all know.
Preachers feel as though they can preach whatever they want. Preachers feel as though they can preach whatever they want. Preachers feel as though they can preach whatever they want with no accountability. You ain't getting away that easy. You got you got the accountability. You got that answer for what you preach. Every day you preach. If you preach something openly and it's incorrect, then you got to correct it openly. And Jack, I want to work on Jack Leg That's what old school preachers used to call them. Jack Leg Jack Legs and Wood Preachers fill them, though they can preach whatever they want. Preachers fill them, though they can preach whatever they want with no accountability. Preachers fill them, though they can preach whatever they want with no accountability. <laughs> you ain't getting where that is. You got, you got accountability. You got the answer for what's the preach. It takes a lot to make you preach. Go to all the seminary schools you want. Go to all the colleges you want. It's not a godsend preacher. Been made a preacher by going to school. School make me students. Wow. 
Ezekiel chapter 3 and we start at verse 16. And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord came unto me. The word of the Lord came unto me. That sounds so beautiful. When the word of the Lord comes. When the word of the Lord comes. That's right. Preachers tell us though they can speak whatever they want. Preachers tell us though they can speak whatever they want. Preachers tell us though they can speak whatever they want.
Let me freely speak unto you. I'm a free preacher. There ain't no no plantation. He's standing in the water of God. It is our way to God. And he will take authority and government. Shall not return unto me, Lord. 
this subject to me to teach. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan gave this subject to me to teach. We believe in the truth of the Bible. However, we believe that the Bible has been tampered with. Therefore, it must be reinterpreted so that mankind will not be snared by the many falsehoods that have been added to it. You say, but my Bible says that you can't alter its word. Well, how do you know that the same man that altered the word didn't put that in there so you wouldn't be game whenever you found out something was a contradiction? How do you know? Now, it's got to be something, it's got to be something going on. Anytime it opens up on the first page and it says that this is the King James Version of the Bible. Oh, 
that you might not be on. If you want to be more like God in the Bible or be closer to God, then you should start dealing with knowledge instead of belief. Start dealing with knowledge instead of belief. Start dealing with knowledge instead of belief. But when Christians come to me and they're talking about what they believe, none of that means nothing to me because it doesn't matter what you believe. It only matters what you know. When I say that you can believe you're going to be successful, but if you don't know you're going to be successful, you're not going to be successful. So it takes more than belief. When I say it takes knowing God, and knowing is the root word of knowledge. Even if you're a Christian, and if you embrace the Bible as the word of God, which is your prerogative, uh, even in the Bible, it's the Lord God is all-knowing God. It don't say in the Bible that the Lord God is the all-believing God. Don't let that mean you got a God that, that is really don't let you doubt yourself. Don't let you listen. It doesn't say that the Lord God is an all-believing God. It say that the Lord God is an all-knowing God. You may say that you laugh when you can call myself a God. You may think that's blasphemy. You oh, may think that I'm blasphemy. You may think that's blasphemy to call myself a God. You may think that's blasphemy to call myself a God. The woman is a goddess and the man is a God. To that person feel like I'm taking the place of Jesus or if you're a Buddhist, you may think I'm taking the place of Hindu. You may think that's blasphemy to call myself a God. Thank you. 
simply saying that ones who comes from the creator don't let me lose you listen I challenge anybody that want to compare belief to knowledge only a fool would do such a thing you never compare belief to knowledge you can't compare the two you know because belief is something that you do on your journey to knowledge but once you receive the knowledge you don't you no longer have to believe whatever it was you were seeking It's called astral theology. Since Caesar becomes a Christian, everybody could be a Christian now, and so therefore it became the state religion. Therefore, it was now in high style to be a Christian. Consequently, you will be very intelligent if you're a Christian. You were very in. You were modern if you were a Christian in Rome once it was accepted fully. I think this is a good spot to take a brief uh, musical break and then we'll come back and uh, pick up on that because we're going to eventually lead into oh yes we're going to lead into some very controversial how uh, this all at least is to white supremacy the bible is not called the greatest collection of facts ever assembled it's called the greatest story ever told in it's fact the bible is not called the greatest, greatest collection of facts ever assembled it's called the greatest story ever told it's and the reason why it's the greatest story is because to do a little homework, you're going to find out it's the oldest story ever told. As a matter of fact, it's the only story ever told. It was not called the greatest collection of facts ever assembled. It's called the greatest story ever told. It was not called the greatest collection of facts ever assembled. It's called the greatest story ever told. It's 
Crucified Saviors by Percy Graves. Well, that's a great book for that kind of a study. The Bible's not called the greatest collection of facts over a single. It's called the greatest story ever told. The Bible's not called the greatest collection of facts ever a single. It's called the greatest story ever told. The calendar was divided into 12 parts, 12 equal parts, the 12 helpers of the sun, and that's where we get the 12 apostles of the sun. And of course, they noticed something interesting. The ancient people were very observant. Not like us, we're too busy to observe anything. But uh, the ancient people had time to observe, but they found out something that is interesting on the, in the winter, or what we call the winter solstice on December, or on December 22nd, the sun had kept moving. Each day, the sun kept moving uh, a little small piece on the sundial. And you could tell the sun was moving each day by watching the sundial. And as the sun was moving further and further south, bringing on our winter, they would notice that it kept going further and further on the sundial until it stopped. And then they said, thank God the thing has stopped, because if it keeps going, it's going to be gone completely. Okay? So it stopped, and it stopped on December 22nd. And they noticed something that for three days, on the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, every morning, it was still sitting in the same place. celebration on the son being born again. Absolutely. 25th. Matter of fact, I saw him today. In fact, the Bible's not called. 
the greatest collection of facts ever assembled, is called the greatest story ever told. Life came from God's Son, but told. It's called astrotheology. What Thank <laughs> you. 